Hey, welcome to this shortwave radio channel. This is our shortwave tip number 21. We are uh, Thursday, March 14, 2019. And today in our tip number 21, we're going to talk about tuning steps. Why? Because depending on what you're listening to on your radio, you might want to have either bigger tuning steps or sometimes smaller tuning t steps to be more precise in your tuning of a frequency of a signal. So what are the typical tuning steps? Depends what you listen to. I will usually use the simple rule of everything that is international broadcast. Most of the time I'll use the 5 kilohertz tuning steps because stations are technically for the majority of them spaced out at 5 kilohertz intervals. So I will use uh, fast for in, 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 in this radio, for example, the Texan PL680, I will use what's called fast steps. So you see here on the display next to the frequency, there's a fast, it says fast just below the clock. That means now when I tune, I tune in five kilohertz steps. So for the international broadcast band, that's pretty much what I'll use most of the time because I will be jumping 5 kilohertz stations are spaced 5 kilohertz apart except there are exceptions to the rule of course but it will let me tune faster uh, in that range also at the same time and make me listen to uh, all the stations in the international broadcast bands when you get to amateur radio bands when you get to utility signals if you're doing some single sideband tuning well then in that case uh, the tuning I will put to a slow tuning so now I've changed it here and it says slow on the display next to the frequency and under the clock now if I tune I tune one kilohertz at a time it's pr more precise and for amateur bands so if I listen to amateur uh, signals on the 20 meter band for example well of course I'll be in one kilohertz steps I don't want to miss out on any amateur radio signals that could be in there because amateur radio operators don't have a fixed step in the band. They'll just go somewhere and they can be in an offbeat frequency, you know, like for example, 14213 could be a frequency somebody uses because it's the one that's clear, no interference. So learn about changing the tuning step of your receiver. It's very important. Each receiver has a different way of doing it. Here on the Texan PL680, I've got the tuning step button that's right here on the top. So what I do is I press the tuning step button and of course it changes the tuning step to three settings, which is slow, fast, and fast slow, which has three incre different increments. The uh, some receivers have that, for example, on the uh, XH data that I got this week, the tuning step is set by pressing. So if I turn on the radio and I go to the shortwave bands, what I'll do is I actually press on the button and it will give me different tuning steps that are very difficult to read for you guys here but right here it changes my tuning steps which will be um, fast slow and stop stop means that when I actually tune doesn't change your frequency at all so you have different settings and those settings will give me five or one kilohertz steps when listening to the radio so a lot of re receivers have the um, fast and slow tuning or five one kilohertz steps so just check at your manual uh, of course this mostly has to do with uh, digital display receivers but learn to use them uh, a lot of the cheaper portables you know like um, I've got a, uh, a happy receiver here and that's a uh, $20 radio a lot of these very cheap portables do not have the ability to change in more precise steps uh, some receivers that don't have single sideband won't let you change it also. It depends on the radio, but um, a lot of receivers do have the tuning steps that you can change to be more precise or to tune faster, depending on what you're listening to. And, you know, rule, general rule, 
5 kilohertz steps in the international broadcast bands, 1 kilohertz steps, utility, amateur radio, uh, and that's going to work uh, for tuning in. And um, in the medium wave band, you can actually use, a lot of radios have the steps enabled. That means you'll tune in um, in North America 10 kilohertz at a time or 1 kilohertz at a time. In Europe, 9 kilohertz, because in Europe the steps are 9 kilohertz for medium wave or AM, and 1 kilohertz. I typically always, almost always, uh, you know, unless I, I really just want to tune in specific 10 kilohertz steps on medium wave, for example, I will often actually put my radio in just 1 kilohertz steps in a medium wave band. Because sometimes transatlantic DXing is possible, and because the stations are off frequency compared to North America on many, many frequencies, it lets you uh, maybe get in there and tune in the signals. So uh, have fun and uh, learn to use those tuning steps on your shortwave radio. Enjoy our tips, enjoy our videos, please subscribe, and hope you enjoyed today's step on the tuning steps. Bye-bye.